Hey everybody, it's Pete from MyJewelryBench.com. Today I want to go over a quick and simple way to use the Jewelcraft Asset Manager with the Blender Gems Jewelry Library. So for those of you who have recently upgraded to Blender 2.9.3.01 or 2 and are having issues with the Simple Asset Manager, this is another way to solve this problem. So this is a way to do it if you already have Jewelcraft installed, which most of you who are doing jewelry design already have it. And this is how we can get the Asset Manager uh, in Jewelcraft to work with Blender Gems. So let's get started. Okay, so you've opened up Blender, you've got this done. Um, I, would re I would remove the Simple Asset Manager from your add-on section, so you can do that by going to Edit and then down to Preferences. And if it's not there anymore or it doesn't work, don't worry about it. But what we're gonna do is come over to Add-ons. And again, we need the Jewelcraft add-on. So I'm gonna come over to User Add-ons. I'm gonna look for my Jewelcraft here. And you can see I've got a check mark in it. Where is it? Right here. And that one works. We've got the tab here for Jewelcraft. And what we wanna do is add the library to that. So what we're gonna do is once you've downloaded or you have your folder where Jewel or Blender Gems is located, we're just gonna simply assign that folder into Jewelcraft. To do that, hit this little arrow next to the Jewelcraft tab, scroll down a little bit and you'll see Asset Manager. Okay, so once you've got that, we're gonna hit the little plus symbol here, which is going to allow us to add the library folder. I'm gonna click on that. It adds an untitled library directory. We're gonna double click this little folder here or click it once. Go to the location on your computer where you have that. Now I have that on a separate drive and under Blender Gems Library. So I'm gonna select that and hit the accept button. It brings that up. We're gonna hit accept one more time. And there it is. It's in the library all by itself. Now, if you have the Jewelry, Jewelcraft tab open, you'll immediately see that it loads the first folder in that directory hierarchy. So I'm gonna close up preferences and now you can see the library is there. And I've got mine set to show names, but you may or may not have that. Either way, it's there if you want to turn it on. Now, under our libraries here, we've got just our Blender Gems library, but that's not how we get to all the subfolders. How we get to all the subfolders is if you look next to this, we have the word Bales, which is a subfolder in Blender Gems. If you click on that, you'll see all the other subfolders that are here. So if I go to Leaf, you can see it brings up all the leaf icons. And then to add those, I can just simply click on one of these little download symbols. So I come over here and you see under leaf two, there's that little arrow pointing down. It's a little download symbol. If I click on that, it'll load the leaf up. I'll get rid of this cube so we can see the leaf and there it is. <clears throat> I can size it up, rotate it, do whatever I want. So there, there it goes. If I wanna to go to a different, uh, section of the library of the blender gems library over to school rings i can click on that and there's all the school rings you can mark any of these as favorite if you like so for instance if i use this particular ring a lot and i want to mark it as a favorite i can click on that and then under favorites you can see it'll bring up my favorites here so that's a way to work with the, the asset manager built into Jewelcraft, which is very simple. Um, the last video, I'll put a link to that, was using an add-on called HardOps, which you can use. It's great for modeling. However, if you don't want to go that far and you just want to use an existing add-on that you have, you can use the Blender or the Jewelcraft add-on and link it directly to the Blender Gems library. Okay, I hope this helped. If it did help, give this video a thumbs up, share it with anybody you know who needs it, and thanks for watching. Take care, guys.